Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to discuss about a very important um, topic in service now that is UI action. UI ac action is the only area in the service now where client side programming and server side programming can be done at the same time. So I am going to take one use case that is I am going to I am um, going to uh, write a UI action to build a button font button that is called reopen on the problem record. So what I am going to do is as you can see I open the UI action on problem table and there I am putting one action name because action name is very important by that action name uh, this UI action will be called and here also if you wanted to put a condition which condition this UI action will be triggered uh, you can put that condition here. So here you can see my condition is current dot state 107, 107 means closed state. So whenever a problem record is in closed state, that time this reopen button will be appeared on the form. We can click it and on on click that would be on click um, button. So that's why the first part of this code you can see that would be the client side code. That's why we are using all client side syntax g underscore form and then uh, get value all this so first i am going to check the value of the work notes if work notes am empty then i am making this work notes mandatory upon reopening and then i am also going to put one error message that work notes are mandatory when um, reopening a problem and then i am going to execute one server side code so in the server side code uh, what it's going to do it's basically going to make this problem record active and also the state will be converted from the close to new and the message will also be displayed uh, that is the info message that is the problem record has been reopened so three things i am doing uh, through my server side coding so that's why you can see all these current dot active current dot uh, state all the server side syntax uh, been used to uh, get it ac accomplished so i'm almost done with my uh, ui action before making this video actually i prepared the code so that it will not uh, take much time and i can just copy and paste and then i can i can explain you guys what uh, this code how this code is working So as you can see that current.active true current.state is um, new state. So that is what exactly I am doing through the through my server side coding. So now I am going back to the problem record. So on my problem record as you can see. this is not you you don't see this uh, reopen button here because i uh, took one um, resolved record but what i have to take i have to take uh, a problem record which is in closed state so let me search for that okay this is one record found which is in closed state so reopen uh, button is um, appeared on the form so if i click on that and if I go to the work notes tab, see this work notes is not becoming mandatory. But if I if my code uh, being called, then the it should uh, the expected result um, to the expected result of that code to make the field mandatory. So it's not happening. Let me go back to my UI action and check it one more time. So here you can see okay so the on click part so this function should be put in on uh, in the on click um, on click field so that was missing that's why when I am clicking this uh, um, reopen 
button it is not actually calling the function so now you can see asterisk sign is just beside this work node so now it is becoming mandatory so if i click it, click the reopen button again so see this problem re, this problem name problem number and then reopen so that is basically doing through my server side coding so that is one of the use case where we can uh, see the problem client side coding as well as the server side coding are working uh, together i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much